Welcome to my YouTube channel and to my train room. The project layout that I'm working on at the moment requires a representation of the Northern Pacific Pine City Rail Bridge over the Snake River in Pine County, Minnesota. I've been kit bashing this structure over the last couple of days. Before I get into the build, let's take a look at some prototype photographs. When I was looking for prototype information on this bridge, I found a really cool website, bridgehunter.com. It's run by a guy named John Marvig, who has given me permission to use his photographs on this video. So I thank him very much for that. There's a fair number of photographs. If I click this one, this shows virtually the whole length of the bridge. We start off at the south end with a very short timber trestle. The center section is a fairly long through plate girder. Then there's another trestle section at the north end. This piece here, the steel beam, was a later modification, so I haven't modeled that. The two concrete piers were also put in at a later date. But when I built the bridge, I hadn't found any photographs of the older ones. I didn't look well enough. Because right here on the same website, here's an older picture showing the original piers. But I'm not too worried about it. The customer and I both agree that the newer concrete piers are really good looking. So we're going to go with those. And as you can see, there is no steel beam in here. The water level is quite a bit higher in this photograph. You see both piers are actually in the water compared with this one where the southern pier is actually on the bank. Although I suspect that that bank was modified when the alterations were done. Anyway, let's go back downstairs and continue. Now the center section of the bridge is a 97 foot long plate girder through span. And then there's two timber bents at one end and quite a long timber section at the other end. There's also this little section here that which was repaired in 2009, which I'm not gonna model. I'm gonna leave that out. The prototype bridge is too long for my sight. It's something like 227 feet long, I think, if my memory serves me correctly. Now, there isn't enough money in the project for a full scratch build. It's going to be a quick kit bash to be representative of the, the bridge. I have a 70 foot single track through girder for the center section. And I bought two packs of the wood trestle with a steel deck girder in the middle. I don't know whether I'm going to use that. I don't know whether I'm even going to need more than one. But I have plenty of parts. I'm going to go away and get a plan together and I'll be right back. Well this trestle kit had a lot more parts than I thought would be in here. There's two sprues like this which each have three bents and two end pieces and about a 16 inch long piece of uh, decking. So there's two of those. I've already cut one of the bents out just to have a look at it. And then there's four sprues like this that each have four more bents and a whole load of pre-assembled bracing. I have to figure out what's intended to go where, but I think there should be more than enough parts in just one pack to build the trestle that I need. And then the plate girder is a 70 footer. The prototype should be, I think, 97 feet long, but as I said, I've got to shorten the bridge anyway. And what I'm gonna do is scratch build the these two concrete uh, piers because they're quite interesting and I think they give the bridge a lot of its character it shouldn't take me long to scratch build those with styrene sheet but first I've got to build up the plate girder to see how far below the track level it ends up and therefore how tall it to make the piers
I've assembled the major cell assemblies. There are the two side girders and the deck. One of them, the edge pieces weren't quite long enough. I had to fill it in with scraps of styrene top and bottom, but that's no big deal. Next, I've got to join these three sub assemblies together and add all the gusset plates. Well, I started work on the trestle end. I cut a few of the major pieces from the sprues just to figure out what I needed because I am not building it anything like what the picture shows. I put the stringers together. It has wooden end walls which are just about right. I've got a few bents done. I need some more. There is one caveat to be aware of. The bracing pieces here, two of them at the bottom are slightly different. Those are for the slightly shorter dark brown bents that go with the steel beam and that those don't fit on the others. However, there is these here. The, the bottom bracing is slightly different, but that gets cut off anyway, so I can just use those. I start by cutting the bottom bracing off with the sprue nippers. Just clean them up. And I've also got to cut the bents off as well. I want my bridge two and a half inches high. I found that by putting my steel rule against the base and then scoring deeply with the razor saw on both sides, the bends end up about the right height. It doesn't make any difference whether I cut them off before or after I install the cross bracing. And everything is pinned, so they actually go together perfectly. And there is another bent done. 
I'm going to do a few more and then I'm going to come back and start some assembly. I have to cut away the longer piece that goes across the bottom. I did goof up one of the other pieces, cutting the wrong end off first. And I've done it again. Well, that seems like a good place to stop for this week. Next week, I'll get all the sub-assemblies put together and I'll work on the walkways and handrails, which give the bridge much of its character. So bye for now, and I hope to see you again next time. Thanks for watching.